Hi everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing great this morning. On our uh, prayer request today, uh, PB is ill. Pray for her own house and her success in life. Uh, Sidra would like us to pray for Palestine. Pray for Mike Payne's granddaughter. She had 27 seizures and she admitted to, uh, has been admitted to the Children's Hospital. And they're, they're trying to do something different for her uh, seizures besides uh, just taking pills. I don't know exactly what it is. Andrea's brother has to have open heart surgery. Pray all goes well and for a quick recovery. And pray for Mike Payne's daughter. She's pregnant and has to have an emergency blood transfusion. Uh, she's critical. Also pray for Mike. He's stressed out. Pray for Jessica's cousins as they lost their older brother Sunday, her cousin uh, also. Uh, pray for AMT Food Secrets. Uh, her son is not feeling well. Pray for Lisa's granddaughter who's eight and has a flu. Also pray for her daughter to make changes in her life for the good. And uh, Angel lost his job and is very stressed out. Pray he can find a better job or that they will call him to come back uh, to work. Okay. All right. Our scripture of the day today comes from Isaiah 43, 18 through 25. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. The wild animals honor me, the jackals and the owls, because I provide water in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland to give drink to my people, my chosen, the people I formed for myself, that they may proclaim my praise. Yet you have not called on me, Jacob. You have not wearied yourself for me, Israel. You have not brought me sheep for burnt offerings, nor honored me with your sacrifices. I have not burdened you with grain offerings, nor wearied you with demands for incense. You have not bought any fragrant calamus for me, or lavished on me the fat of your sacrifices. But you have burdened me with your sins, and wearied me with your offenses. I, even I, he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake and remembers your sin no more. Okay. All right, and our devotion today is entitled Forgiveness and Forgetting. I need to get a drink of water. Jill Price was born with the condition of hyperthysmia. The ability to remember in extraordinary detail everything that ever happened to her. She can replay in her mind the exact occurrence of any event she's experienced in her lifetime. The TV show Unforgettable was pre premised on a female police officer with hyperthysmia to her great advantage in trivia games and in solving crimes. For Jill Price, however, the condition isn't so much fun. She can't forget the moments of life when she was criticized, experienced loss, or did something she deeply regretted. She replays those scenes in her head over and over again. Our God is omniscient, perhaps a kind of divine hyperthysmia. The Bible tells us that his understanding has no limit. And yet we discover in Isaiah a most reassuring thing. I, even I am he who blots out your transgressions and remembers your sins no more. The book of Hebrews reinforces this. We have been made holy through Jesus Christ and our sins and lawless acts God will remember no more. As we confess our sins to God, we can stop playing them over and over in our minds. We need to let them go just as he does. Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. In his great love, God chooses not to not remember our sins against us. Let's remember that. What regrets do you harbor in your memory and play over and over again? How can you give them to God and release the past? Dear God, thank you for forgiving and forgetting my sins. 
And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a fantastic morning. And I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye, everyone. And God bless.